If you like using Maya to create your game geometry, you'll appreciate this video. We've asked the guys from cgcookie.com to showcase how to set up the scale in Maya so that your assets fit the FPS control plugin for the Unity game engine exactly. Now, CG Cookie has some of the best game art tutorials in the industry, so we are honored that they're helping us out. Enjoy. Hello, this is Wes McDermott. In this video, we're going to take a look at exporting 3D assets from Maya for use with FPS control. Before we actually export any assets, what we want to do is make sure that we have our scene scale set correctly. So here I am in Unity and I have the Shell Shock demo scene open. So I'm just going to kind of zoom in here into a doorway and I have this tool called the Distance Tool. Now this is a tool that I wrote and it's free on the Unity Assets Door. You can pick that up and what I use this tool for is just to basically just measure scene elements. And so here I have two nodes set at the bottom and top of this door and you can see that using the Distance Tool I can see that this doorway is about 2.33 units tall. So let's look at this another way. Let's get a bit more visual with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my game object and I'm going to uh, create a cube. And this is just going to be a default Unity cube. So it's basically going to be uh, the scale is at 1. So it's going to be just basically a 1 by 1 by 1 unit cube. And I'm just going to go ahead and place this here in the doorway. And now let's go ahead and just duplicate this guy. So we've got one cube here. And let's duplicate this guy. So now we have two cubes. And if we take a look at this, um, we're looking at basically this doorway is about two and a third cubes. So here, let's do one more. Let's duplicate this guy and then we'll kind of scale it here. And we'll place this up here in the doorway. Just kind of match this up so you can see here. And so here we go. Just roughly about two and a third cubes. Unity cubes, and each one of these cubes again are about one unit tall. So we'll go ahead and just remove these cubes, and we'll go back here to the distance tool. So what I do for setting up scenes uh, for FPS control is I go ahead and set myself at this 2.33 unit. So this is kind of like my working unit for all my scale, and it's basically, like I said, it's it's the it's the average height of a doorway here inside of the shell shock scene. So now if we go ahead and jump back over to Maya, we now have this fire hydrant asset that we're going to place into the shell shock scene. And so I have a distance tool created already, and so I can go up here to create, and that's measure tools, and I added a distance tool. And you can see that this tool, or by setting this up, you can see this fire hydrant is actually about 3.9. So this is a lot larger than our doorway. So here I'll go ahead and select this locator, and I'll start to just pull this down. And you can see that we'll get about to, let's see, 2.3, here we go, 2.33. So uh, this puts us here at about the size of our doorway. And now we can see that our fire hydrant is a lot taller than it should be. Now the average door is about 7 feet, uh, we'll say 84 inches. And an average fire hydrant might be around, you know, 26 inches. So we're looking at, you know, close to a third in size. So what we want to do is scale this fire hydrant down. So what I've done is um, I've set my pivot here at the base of this. And I always set, especially for environment assets, I will take the pivot point and I will always set that at the base. And that makes it a lot easier if I want to be able to snap this control around on a grid. I'll just hold down the X key here and now I can easily move this asset here around a grid and it makes it, uh, it, makes it good for uh, more precise placement into our world. So now we'll just go ahead and make sure that we put that back. So also we can adjust our scale a bit easier now. So we're going to be scaling from the bottom. And we know that, that this locator here is now about 2.3. So that's about the size of our door set in Unity. So I'm going to go ahead and select this fire hydrant. I'm going to activate the scale tool. And I'm just going to scale this down. And I'll tell you what, just so we don't have to eyeball this, let's go ahead and just grab hold of this locator now. And let's pull this guy down to be to about a third of that doorway. So that would put us at about maybe 0.8 here, uh, roughly. And so now I have a scale that I'm going to work towards. We'll go back and we'll select the fire hydrant. We'll activate the scale tool and then we'll just scale this guy down. And uh, here we go. We'll just drop this into our right view and uh, get a little bit of a better look on this. There we go. And then we'll bring this up. And so now we have this scale down, and you can see that we actually have some values in our scale. So what we're going to want to make sure that we do is freeze transformations on this. So we'll come up here to modify, and we'll do freeze transformations. And so that way, that will set our scale all the way to 1. And uh, I'm also going to make sure that I set this guy at the 0. So when I export my items, I keep everything um, at the origin. So we have the origin. We have uh, frozen our, our transforms. And now we're ready to go, and we've actually scaled this item down. So now what I'm going to do is just export this FBX. 
So we'll go to File, and we'll do Export Selection. And I'm going to place this into that demo assets here. So we'll just call this um, Fire Test and the FBX Export. And then uh, in, in the case of, of, um, of my version here, I was using 2014. So I'm just going to export out FBX 2013. Um, I find that uh, you know some apps are having a little bit of issue with 2014 at this time, so just to be safe, I keep this at 2013. Um, if we come over to our units, we can see that we're doing, uh, you want to keep the scale factor at 1 and keep this checked to automatic, and you can see here that the file unit's converted to centimeters. So that's pretty important. If you're, if you're inside your Miocene and you're working with the default centimeters, uh, you'll want to just go ahead and make sure that you just keep this as a scale factor of 1, and you saw that what happened there in uh, when we scaled this hy hydrant down was we were just manually controlling this scale factor ourselves so we're keeping this at one we know what the unit or we know what our unit is inside of unity and we're just matching that unit inside of Maya with the scaling of our fire hydrant so again just make sure that you're working in the centimeters default centimeters in Maya and then just keep this scale factor at one and set to automatic that should be the default anyways and then we'll go ahead and just export this selection so now we're back in Unity. I'm going to uh, scroll here to the top where my Assets folder is, and now we have this Fire Test. I'm going to go ahead and select this, and we want to make sure that we set our Scale Factor to the correct value. So right now it's set at 0 0.01, and this is not correct. So before when we exported a Maya, we exported with the scale factor of 1, and Maya's units are, are on par with Unity's units if you use a scale factor of 1. So what we want to do is go ahead and make sure that we just set this to 1. So you're going to want to do that uh, with all your meshes, and then we'll go ahead and hit, click Apply onto this, and now we'll have the Fire Hydrant set correctly. So now if we just drag and drop this out here into our scene, you can see that our fire hydrant object, and if we just kind of move this up here a bit, um, right, and we'll place it right here under uh, on the doorway here, and you can see that uh, it's now placed uh, correctly. Let's go ahead and just check our distance tool on this. So um, let's see. We will zoom out. Let's just go ahead and move our fire hydrant here a little closer, and let's go ahead and just grab one of these nodes here on my distance tool. Actually, I've got to come up here and select it. Here it is. So... Um, Let's see, we'll just say, we'll keep that one here at the base. And let's grab the top node, and we'll just drag this guy down. Here, let's just go ahead and scoot him all the way over, just so you can see it right at that line. And as you can see, whoops, deselected it here. Let's just close our environment. Here it is, distance tool. And so now as I start to just bring this guy down and place him right on top of what the fire hydrant is, you can see the distance tool. Let's get it right about where it should be. You can see that the distance tool is now reading that it should be 0.8 roughly here. And if we go back into Maya, you can see that that's where we were working here with our distance tool inside of Maya. So here we have 0.8.